and we're on. Fantastic. Hello, friends. I'm here today with my bestie, Abigail Doust. I am so excited to be here with her and to bring her genius to you because she has helped me over the years in so many different ways with her perspective on life and business and all things personality, which is what we're talking about today. Yes. And uh, I'm excited for her to share how you can take some really easy tips that she's going to give you and utilize that to take your business to the next level, which is always what we're about here. So Abigail, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Yes, yes, absolutely. Tell us a little bit about you, who you are, what you do, all the things. Yes, yes. Well, I started as a high school teacher and college professor. And I think that you find a lot about personality when you work with a lot of students like that, how people learn, how people move forward. Um, and then my husband became a pastor and I was a pastor's wife for many years. And we started a nonprofit because we felt such a need for people to get some relationship help. So we did a relationship oriented nonprofit for seven years. And my passion is really to equip people to help them to be the very best they can be the best communicators, the best adapters, the best way to, to really make a relationship. And I think business is about relationship. I think okay. that's, how, that's how you grow. I am in Iowa. I have uh, a husband and four almost teenage daughters and um, cat lover and book reader. And there's just nothing better than some coffee and a book and inter, you know, secret introvert. Uh, so it's really nice to be here with just you. Um, <laughs> People will join us later. Um, that's a little bit about me. My passion is really helping people move forward to be all that they can be. Oh, that's amazing. Forward is my word of the year, by the way. Nice. Excellent. Yes. Yes. It's a good word. It's a good word. A good word. Helping people move forward. I, I think that so many people don't realize that they're stuck. Yeah. And that's true. Even For one long. step in the forward direction. Mm -hmm is a plus. So anyway, I'm glad that that's what you're all about because that's what I'm all about too. Yeah. Um, so today I want to have this conversation with Abigail surrounding the idea of personality types mm -hmm. and how just knowing what to look for when you're interacting with people in your business can really be helpful because, um, Here's what I have found in my business. I am a, uh, we're going to use some personality terms that I think Abigail will explain a little bit later, but I'm a very analytical, I like research, green personality. Um, and so I have, I have the tendency to word vomit on people who, <laughs> who I think need to know all the things. Everything but really don't want to know all the things. <laughs> and I think you're learning this about yourself. Uh -huh. yes, yes. It's really good that I've had that self-realization because I think that it's been helpful for me to kind of pull back. And, um, but it's not just the green personalities, right? It's all of the personality types and me as a green personality, being able to realize who I'm talking to by the words that they use, um, and some phrases maybe that they use that hopefully you can teach us what to look for <laughs> so that I can better communicate exactly what they need. Because honestly, it's not about me as a business owner. It's about them as a potential client or, client or customer. That's right. I couldn't agree more. That's why I think the starting place is knowing yourself. You have to know who you are because you're, the game is adaptation. I'm going to adapt myself to you in order to make a connection and so that you can get what you need so that I can help you, right? And so knowing yourself is so important. So you mentioned that you're a green, that you're a little bit more analytical. I love all kinds of personality assessments. I do five factor, I do disc, I do Enneagram, but the disc is the really easy one that has been around now for thousands of years. And the disc is the driver is the red and the inspire is the yellow. 
and this steady amiable person is the blue and the analytical is the green, the more cautious, careful one is the green. And those have been around for, like I said, thousands of years and everybody knows them. And it's really easy for us to talk in those terms today. Enneagram is awesome, but it's really complicated. Yeah. So this is just something we can, we can land the plane on really easily. And I believe you can uh, use this to understand yourself better. So the first thing I would ask is, how do you interact with the world? Like, are you more of an active person? You walk into a room and you're telling someone a story or you're engaging right away, or are you more reserved? You walk into a room and you're sort of scoping it out, trying to find out who's here and who, what's my part of it. And maybe you wait for someone to ask you a question than just putting yourself out there. Sure. sure. So that's the first axis you can ask yourself, which one are you? Okay. So if, if someone wanted to, I can't imagine a person not having taken a personality test at this point. I mean, they're all over Facebook. Come on. Are you under a rock? You know, like, have you ever <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. Yes. People have. But if someone wanted to put themselves through something like disc or the red, green, yellow, blue piece, what is an easy, maybe free way that they can find that test, access it so they can at least have some place to start? Yes, I would. I don't have a specific website, but I would just Google okay. disc. Um, okay. Because that the D I S C that's what disc is. I would just Google that. But truly, you can ask yourself: Am I more active or more reserved? And then, am I more task or more relational? And and really, the key to that is success. How how do you view success? Mm. At the end of the day, you're laying in bed. What are you most proud of? Something you've got done and checked off your list, or somebody you connected with that day? <laughs> that is, it is very true. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're right now thinking, well, Abigail, I'm both of those, that that could very much be true because 85% of us are a blend of more than one of these things. So if you're like, well, it depends. Sometimes I'm tasked, sometimes relational, or sometimes I'm active if I know the people, and sometimes I'm reserved if I'm in a new environment, and that's fine too. But we're speaking in stereotypes today just to kind of know yourself. Sure. So I wanted to say real quickly some of the benefits of each of these. So a D a driver who's active and task oriented is really a great um, online or digital marketing person because they are going to meet their goals. They're going to work hard. They're going to push forward and they're going to encourage their team and push forward. They're going to expect great things. And that's wonderful. But I'll tell you, if you are a D, you have to be careful because you can run over people. So <laughs> Yes. So easily. And you can just be like, why aren't you doing this already? And make people feel bad because they're not ready. Yes, yeah. we've had that conversation. About <laughs> it's the same of me. So I'm not really, I'm like pointing the finger both ways. Um, <laughs> So the yellow is great because they're very inspiring and they encourage and lift people up and you're having a bad day and an, an eye or a yellow will just like make you feel better and they're encouraging and you can do this. And that's so beautiful. But an eye also doesn't have a lot of patience for any details. If that person is asking questions about a product or they um, are not sure yet or they get kind of in the weeds of something, the yellow is like, you're killing me. <laughs> like if I say this is amazing, you should believe me and let's go. Right. Let's and go. I think one of the things you mentioned uh, is when you're an I, maybe you could resource that out. Can you share that idea about getting someone else to answer those? Yes. So the way that we work on, um, on my team and my company is that we, we try to do a lot of three-way conversations so that it's not up to one person to have to know all the things. And it, especially if you have all green personalities or all red personalities, yeah, I mean, that can be, yeah, that can be difficult. Right. And so when I have someone on my team, who's a yellow mm -hmm. and she or he does not care about all of the product ingredients or how they work or the benefits or all those things, but she's interacting with somebody who is a green personality and does want to know those things. Yeah. What we've done is enabled this three-way conversation to connect the green to the green. The yellow is the connector piece because she knows both people. We edify and then you make that connection so that your potential client or customer can get the information that they need from a person who speaks their language, which is really important and it really does uh, 
make for some great success. Yes, yes, absolutely. Because we can't always be everything to all people. I mean, we're trying to learn how to adapt today and how to pick up some language, but we can't always be everything. Absolutely. But to finish up, the blue is reserved. And so they're really steady and amiable and relational. But a per if you're um, trying to, and that's good because you're probably going to have loyal customers and you're going to invest in that relationship. Beautiful. Um, but if you have a client or a potential client who is a mover and a shaker, um, and that blue could really drag them down. And they're like, no, really, I got to get going. And the blue is kind of like, let's take our time. Let me get to know you a little better. And it's like, no, I don't want to get to know you. I want the regimen. I want the plan. I want the, the eating plan. I want the capsules I'm supposed to get. Like, let's go. Um, so if you're a blue and you feel like your client is moving too fast, just kind of ask yourself, well, is that my judgment of the situation, how it should go? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, is this a fact of how it has to be? Or is that just my perception of how I'd like it to be? Right. Because the client is always right, right? Yes. And then, um, lastly, the green is really great at being careful and thorough. And you're probably going to follow up with everyone well if you make a checklist. Mm -hmm. You're going to be thorough in your answers. But unfortunately, a C can take a long time. So you might not answer someone right away because you want to find the right way to answer them. Or you want to think it through a little bit and be careful. But careful takes time. And you can't always be careful in social marketing. you got to get on it. So I think that... I'm just kind of highlighting some pros and cons to all the personality types, just so you can kind of see yourself and think as a person trying to be an awesome digital marketer, what do I have going for me and what is getting in my way and how can I remove those obstacles to connect with people quickly and powerfully? Yeah, that's great. So I guess my, in this context, I know that personality is huge and you can study it for many moons and still not know all the things, right? Yeah. So this context for this particular, uh, hopefully short-ish conversation, um, what, I'm, what I'm hoping that you can give us is a few words or phrases that you can look for, that we can look for in potential customers or clients or current customers or clients to kind of pinpoint where they land on that four grid and maybe help better serve them as um, as somebody that now kind of understands what they need or where they're coming from just because we're able to ascertain what personality style they are a little bit. Yes, yes, absolutely. So if you're talking to a client or a potential client who is red, they're going to speak very directly. Try not to get offended by that. They're just going to be very direct because they want to move on and do what they're doing. So they're going to be focused on the task. You don't need to have chit chat or be obligated to coddle them. And so if you see someone coming to you, they know what they want and they're trying to move forward on it. Just move quickly with them and respond to so I think someone who wants results fast, someone who knows what they want and just wants a link, don't feel obligated to slow down or coddle them. Like let them let them have what they want right away. It's on them if they acted too fast and, you know, short of someone, you know, damaging themselves. Right. Um, <laughs> if someone's speaking directly, focused on the task, very driven toward a goal, don't just get out of their way. Like give them the links they want, give them the codes they want and just go. And don't feel bad uh, that you're not, you know, being more whatever because you're actually meeting them right where they want. That's all they want. Okay. Um, don't feel bad about it. Um, a person who talks in a big language, like amazing, or I want this <clears throat> like inspiring language, like that's great. Everything's great. This is going to be wonderful and amazing. That's kind of a clue that they're an I and they need encouragement. Eyes need a lot of affirmation. They need, you can do this. Yeah. If, they're, if they're talking in loose figurative language or they try to inspire you and they say, thank you so much. You're amazing. You're like, oh, you're telling me I'm amazing. That means you want me to tell you you're amazing. <laughs> Eyes are just, they are just in the clouds. They're just like, they want to have a lot of superficial friendships. They want everyone to be happy. And so, but they need encourage. They need that validation and affirmation. So if you notice someone talking like that, I would dish back to them. Lots of encouragement and validation. Lift them up, cheer them up, um, point them to positive results that you've seen to continue to inspire them. Okay. Um, the S's can be a little melancholy sometimes because they are cautious 
I mean, not cautious, as cautious as the green, but they are a little slow and they, they're they just not sure if they wanna move forward. And so you'll notice them because they might be um, down on themselves or a little bit reflective. Um, they might be, they really need to know you're there for them. So if they show hesitancy, the way to respond is, is with relationship. Like, mm -hmm. well, let's talk about it. How can we help? You know, can we schedule a phone call or can we schedule a Zoom call so that we can visit about this more? They are wanting to build trust. Okay. So they ask you questions or they're slow to get going. Try to be really patient with them. They need to know that you're a good person and that you are really for them mm -hmm. before they're going to move forward on any kind of task because they see the whole world through relationship. So they okay. need to know that you're awesome and that you really are there for them for the long haul. Right. Um, so maybe talking about what your support will be for them throughout the journey would mean a lot to them. They can be indecisive and they also mirror the person they're talking to. So if you're confident, they will enjoy that confidence that they're getting from you. Um, and then lastly, the C, they need all the details. I mean, you've kind of already talked about this. This is the flip. If you were a client, you would ask a lot of questions. You're like, well, when, when should I take this and how does that work? And I need to understand the science behind that. And and so try to be patient with those people. It can really drive you crazy when you're like, come on, if you don't order by tomorrow, you're not going to get this deal and you're driving me insane. Um, they can, but they push you to work. But honestly, you can't push them. Um, it's like the people who will look at consumer reports before they buy a dishwasher and they will look at all the dishwashers and they'll go to all the places to look at dishwashers. You can't rush these people. If you rush them, they get ticked and they're like, you are trying to bully me. And I'm not ready yet. So okay. you're really just patient with them. Keep giving them what they need. These are good questions. I will never tire of your questions. How else can I fill in the cracks for you? So is, is someone that's that personality less likely to be motivated by a sale? Oh, yeah. Okay. They're going to be rushed. That is not helpful. Yeah. And maybe even less likely to be motivated by the stories. Like, look at this transformation story. Okay. I may not do it for them. Okay. So uh, that, it, sorry, my, my head is now spun in a different direction. So if, if we looked at all four of these areas, the DISC or red, yellow, blue, green, mm -hmm. um, what is a motivating factor for each one of these places? Because I, I totally get that, um, that a sale is not going to motivate a green. And so that's probably, if there's a sale, you're going to want to tell them at the very beginning, not the day that it ends. So right. that you have right. a runway to do the research that they need and still get the special. But what, yeah. what other kinds of things um, would be motivators for these other personality types? Yeah. So the D is motivated by goal. They want okay. to something. So I'm not going to start anything unless I know what it is I'm trying to get to. That's all about the goal. So asking them, what are you hoping to accomplish in 90 days? Uh, if you were starting this, what would be your dream of what you would look, what kind of results you would want six months from now? Um, okay. They are all about the goal. The I wants to be in the spotlight. It's kind of all about them. So how would this make you look better? How would the success be? How would that um make you an influencer with other people? How would this, you know, continue to build your platform, if you will? And I mean it in a very informal sense, like eyes just are in the spotlight, like they're the light of the the, com the comedian at the party and uh, the person wants to tell the story. So they would love to know how they can be um, growing as an influencer. The S's are motivated by relationships. So long haul, I'm in this with you. I'm in the, tr the ditch with you relationship and trust. And the C is all about all that information that their motivator is I've made the very best decision. I made the right decision. And so helping them, that's what they're motivated by. I want to do the right thing for me right now. So are the blue personalities, they're the helpers. They want to help other people. Yes. So, yes. Okay. Well, I always want to help people, but in a little more active way. Eyes are like, come on, feel better. Your dog died. We're going out for a drink. Like, okay. eyes are like aggressively trying to make you feel better. And yeah. S's are like, I'll let you cry with me because that's really hard. And I'm going to be here with you. To okay. Make you better. okay. Those are, man, that is so super helpful. And I can see so many different applications in this for people. Mm -hmm. um, I know that there is way more 
that we could, I mean, this could be a three day seminar talking about <laughs> relationship and maybe we should do a three day seminar. Hey, if okay. anybody's interested in a three day seminar of how you can use personality type to grow your business, you need to drop that in the comments so that we can follow up because that may be a thing. Um, but in lieu of that, uh -huh. where can people find, I know that you have a book, right? That could be. You have a book. Yeah. And one of the things in the book that I think you guys need to know is about growth and change. People change is complicated. So when you're trying to sell something to someone, they have to determine whether they're ready to take on that mm. new journey or not. And people can be really slow to change. They can look like they're ready to change, but then they're not. And you can just beat yourself up. Like, what am I doing wrong? They said they wanted to take action and now they're not. Did I say the wrong thing? No, it's really, it could be that people just, they want to make change but they're sort of contemplating change or even pre-contemplating. That's me in Whole30. I'm thinking about thinking about starting Whole30. Like we are not, we are not even making a list for the grocery store. Okay? <laughs> we are thinking about thinking about starting Whole30. Um, so I just want to encourage you that um, change and growth is complicated. And so that's one of the topics of the book, Authentic Conversations. It's about coming alongside people and helping them be their best and what you have to do to do that, which means listening, asking powerful questions, building trust, all the things that are true of all the disc, all the red, yellow, green, blue. Um, those are the things that are in the book and it's really to help you connect with others. So it's not written specifically for business. But it's one of those things that can apply to your home, to your business, to your church and all the relationships you have. But as a business person, you can glean so much from that book, Authentic Conversations. And I want to give yes. people a deal. I want you to have $5 yes. off the book just because you're a side hustle collaborative person. Fantastic. So how do they find said book? And yeah. what is the coupon code, my friend? Yes, go to equippingforimpact.com backslash book. And the special code for you guys is SHC21. And I'm so excited for you to have that. And Equipping for Impact is my business that really helps people make an impact in this world, knowing your sphere of influence and knowing that you can be a world changer. So I have the book, I have a YouTube channel, I am on Facebook and Instagram, and I would love to help be a resource for you as you change the world where you are. That's fantastic. So you mentioned that you're on lots of different social planners, uh, planners, social platforms, are <laughs> social planning as well, but no, just kidding, you don't do social planning. No. Uh, only if it's for us for coffee. Yes, exactly. Um, but if someone wants to find you, are they looking for Equipping for Impact or are they looking for Abigail Doust? Equipping for Impact, but you can also look for Abigail K. Doust on Instagram. Abigail K. Doust. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, so I it's, love you. Uh, I love what you're doing to build into business entrepreneurs. And it's just a joy to be here anytime, girl. Oh, girl, you just opened the door. Okay, we will have you back because there are so many different topics that you yeah. are expert on, I know. Yeah. And so I I am super excited for people to dig into this particular topic because I think there's so many nuggets in here that they can take away that they can put into practice like right now that yeah. is going to get them to go forward. Absolutely. In their business. So. Thank you so much. I super appreciate you being here and uh, we will talk soon. Sounds good. Bye-bye.